Hi girls. So now I'm going to talk to you about using your personal page and attraction marketing. And for me, the two go hand in hand together. They work well together. I have personally sponsored 86 presenters and I would say 75% of those came through my personal page so I want to talk to you about making sure that if you're going to use your personal page that it's business ready and what you can do to increase your attraction marketing and get it right okay so um, I'm going to share the screen now so I can show you rather than just tell you so two seconds Perfect. Okay, so your personal profile. Is your personal profile business ready? So the first thing that you're going to look at is your cover picture. You want to make sure that your cover picture is inspirational. When people come to your your personal page, what does it say about you? Are you positive? Are you caring? Are you an excited individual who has hopes and aspirations? Uh, you know, what is it that this personal page is gonna say about you. For me, that I hope that it does show that I'm excited and I'm fun loving and I'm caring and I've got hopes and aspirations for my family because that is real life for me. So when they first come to your personal page, what is the first thing that they're gonna see? And it's gonna be a cover picture. So that cover picture it needs to be inspirational, it needs to be positive, and it needs to be non-salesy. Don't have the customer kudos as your cover picture. Make it inspirational, make it like something that they're gonna go, yeah, or wow, or yeah, and wanna, wanna move on. So the next thing that you're gonna look at is your profile picture. Your profile picture needs to be a picture of you. Although your kids are gorgeous and your animals are beautiful, this is about you. This is about your business. And every time you go onto your personal page, you need to think about what your personal page says about you. So we want a picture about you. Gorgeous, gorgeous you. Ideally wearing unique products. Uh, unique products make it as professional as you can and don't put any logos in there don't put any products in there don't put any logos in there make it personal uh, the about you section make it short sharp and snappy make it professional but fun and link it through to your business page if you've not already got a business page then come back to this once you have got a business page and link it through to your business page your friends list, you're going to need to hide your friends list because this is going to become very precious to you. This is a list of people that you're going to be building a relationship with over time uh, and you need to protect them from other people. And unfortunately, not everybody um, has the same morals, okay? So you do need to hide that friends list. And to do it, you need to go um, into your friends list from a PC and then there's an options tab. I think it might be a picture of a pen. Click on that, manage your friends and then hide hide it so only you can see your friends list you're going to be wanting to aim for a minimum of 2,000 friends um, and obviously the maximum friends you can have on Facebook is 5,000 but that magic number starts at 2,000 so you want to really try to increase your friends list as, as quickly as you possibly can because that's going to get you out there and help you to increase your influence. And the quickest way to increase your friends is to do virtual parties or any kind of parties and also go into interest groups. You may, you may go into a network marketing interest group and just say to them, I'm not here to recruit, I'm just here to make friends. I'm just here to build relationships with like-minded people. Um, or you may have, uh, you may be a big dog fan. You can go into a dog group and start chatting, never promoting about your business. You're building relationships. When you eventually bring them into your friends list, they should be pretty clear about what you do from your personal page. Okay. So never be spammy. Uh, you know, try and avoid as much as you possibly can um, just promoting your business and build relationships. It works so much better.
So what do you want to post on your personal page? Your personal page is business ready now. Now what do you want to post? Um, well, before we go into sharing the love, um, the first thing that I would say, and it is probably the most important, is that there should be no negativity on your personal page. If you are negative on your personal page, you are immediately undoing every bit of hard work that you have done. So my big advice to you is keep negativity away from Facebook. Go and phone your best mate or your mum or your auntie or speak to somebody about it, but do not air it out on Facebook. It won't do you any favours whatsoever. And also it's really quite refreshing for people to see lots of positivity and if you're somebody that brings positivity then they're more likely to keep following you and keep engaging with you so first things first no negativity if you decide to use your personal page for just one business post that's it it is now the ownership of your business but it's also your personal life as well and we'll talk about that so no negativity that's number one okay so share you share unique, share your love for unique, share the love for your products, your business, your team, your aspirations, share the love. And here are some examples of how that could look. Uh, so once when you just get started and your kit arrives and you try that magic mascara, take a picture of one I done and one I not done and say, have you seen these lashes? We do not want to be salespeople. We want to be people that share the love for the products, okay? So saying, what do you think about these lashes or what do you think about this lip color is what our job's all about. We are wearing and sharing the products. So post a picture of you with your amazing lashes onto your newsfeed. Um, when I first came into the business, my why was um, to be able to have enough money to take my kids to Disneyland Paris. So share your why. What is the reason for you joining this business? Why is it important to you? What do you hope to achieve from it in the next six to 12 months? And start building a story around that because this is the start of your journey. So for me, when I joined the business, it wasn't necessarily to build a business. I didn't actually think that the potential was there, but if I could earn a few quid to take the kids to Disneyland Paris, fantastic. So I posted about the fact that I'm, I'm taking the kids to Disneyland Paris. And I followed that whole story with the kids getting excited, to us booking it, to us counting down to the days that we were going, to us actually being in Disneyland Paris. And the amount of excitement that you get from people following you and liking and commenting was sensational. And when I got back from Disneyland Paris, there were people contacting me about joining my team because they want to take their kids to Disneyland Paris this year. If you love free makeup and you have earned free makeup in this business, post about it. Post about the fact that you have earned free makeup. There is not one woman on this planet that would not like to earn free products. And you get to do that in this business. You get to earn free products. So share the excitement of those free products. You know, when you're ordering them and then you zero rate it, you know, screenshot that just ordered all of this and I've paid that for it, shipping $4.95. And then when those products arrive, take a picture and share your excitement for it. Uh, one of the biggest things in this business that I never expected was the friendships that you make. Uh, and they are real life, true friendships. Um, and it kind of knocks your socks off really. So when you come into this business and you start building those relationships, share it, share your excitement for it and post about it because there are many people that will relate to that. There are many people that are sat at home very lonely of an evening um, because they're unable to get out because they've got young children in bed, etc. Uh, and this will fulfill them in some way. So um, yeah, Posting about the real life relationships that you are building is an absolute plus. 
Uh, recognition, recognition in this business is huge. We get recognized for everything that we do, every status advancement, every promotion, every team member, everything. So, you know, any kind of recognition that you are have received, then share your excitement for it because there are lots of people in the business, in businesses, in jobs that feel like they don't get any recognition for their job and we get it in bucket folks. Yeah. Um, if you start building a team, shout out about your team. You know, give them a big up because if people are watching you and following your journey and you come in and you set up those goals and you're earning, you're, you're getting all of your status achievements and you're earning free makeup and you're taking the kids to Disneyland Paris and you're building a team and you are so positive and uplifting and give recognition in bagfuls to your team, people will want to join you. It always needs to be true, honest and sincere. That is number one. But if it's always true, honest and sincere, people will want to join you. Um, my biggest why of all, once I've realized that this is a sustainable business model that I really want to be part of, my biggest why is to always work from home around my kids and to always take my kids to school. And when I see a picture like this, or when I see this happening as I'm walking the kids up to school, I take a picture of it and I share it. Uh, because that is the lifestyle that this business creates for me. I'm able to be a successful business owner working from home and I still get to take my kids to school. So that is a lifestyle that Unique creates for you. And as you go in these throughout this business, those, those lifestyles will start this big and they'll get bigger and bigger the more you decide to pursue your career so if you come into this business and this business earns you 50 quid a month to go and get your nails done then share that if it enables you to save up to go on holiday then share that yeah you know for me i, I treat the, my, my family to little breaks away we want to cruise to mexico it was fantastic i'm still swaying now though i can't wait for that to stop but amazing you know more recognition um uh, and that is attraction marketing that is how you're gonna get people watching your story, celebrating your success, without you saying, join my team, buy my products. Wear and share the products and share your excitement for the business opportunity. That is all you have to do. Okay, thanks for listening, girls.